The impact is largest among micro and small firms in the textile sector in Hara and among exporters, the WB said in the survey carried out on 813 firms between June 12 and July 13. The firms surveyed to determine the impact of the COVID-19 are in four provinces namely Hara, Bulawayo, Manakaland, and Midlands. Most, 86%, experienced a drop in demand and disruptions to supply of input, raw material and merchandise for resale. 76%, the WB said in its report released Monday. However, large firms and those in the food sector seem to be less impacted by the pandemic, the WB said. It said firms took several measures to minimize the financial impact of the shocks, including repurposing and using technology to boost demand. Close to half of the firms adapted their products or services to evolving demand, while 30% adjusted their ways of delivering goods or services. 27% of the firms started or increased online business activities, while 26% reported starting or increasing remote work, according to the research findings. Firms made adjustments to their workforce, with the reduction in working hours as the most common adjustment that was implemented by 94% of the firms, followed by a reduction in temporary employees. About 37% of the firms have also reduced wages, while 26% of the firms reduced the number of permanent employees. On average, firms shared about 10% of their full-time permanent employees compared to February 2020, the WB said. The WB further noted that despite all the mitigation measures taken by firms, the pandemic has had significant impact on their financial well-being. For an average firm, sales in May-June contracted by 51% compared to the levels in 2019, while the magnitude of the damage is further visible from the financial woes facing the business, where about 90% have reported having liquidity and cash flow shortages, it said. As a sign of potential ripple effect, about 64% of the firms had to delay payment to service providers and tax authority, the WB said. Zimbabwe has now reopened most sectors of its economy after a five-month shutdown due to the pandemic. The country has recorded 7,683 COVID-19 cases, 5,924 recoveries and 225 deaths as of Sunday. Post published in Business.